Hey everybody, I have a haul to share with you all today, um, but also um, some happy mail. So I have a crafty friend who was looking at some of my previous videos and she reached out to me and asked me if I'd be interested in some of the wooden stamps that she was going to be, you know, going through. So she sent me a couple of the ones that she, she knew she, that I would like. Um, some of these are very similar to obviously some of the ones that I've been purchasing from Stampington and some I have shown before. So let me share with you what she sent to me and thank you so much, Chris. I really do appreciate it. She did send me this as well, which is a, um, a little booklet of the collection from 1998 from Debbie Mom. And some of you guys, if you've been watching my haul videos on these, you'll know that I've received some of these stamps or, um, purchase some, sorry. Um, but this is the book and I've actually seen some of these, um, on eBay and either purchased them or passed them up, but they are so cute. The style is, um, really cute. So that's a quick flip through of this little, um, paper book that she sent me, pamphlet, whatever. But these are the two stamps that are actually in it. Um, really, really cute. And they'll make some fun cards, I know. Um, this one is called Floral Bushel from 1998, D6129. So it's actually a little, um, what do you call it, bucket, wooden bucket. Um, and, and it's got like little daisies in it, I guess you would call that. Um and then this garden one here is called uh, Garden Sign D6130. So these two are actually in the book I just showed you on the first page. Um, and then she sent me these, which of course I love. You're the very best. Um, there is no marking on these, so I don't know who actually makes them. Um, and maybe if she's watching, she'll come back and tell me if she knows. This looks like raspberries or blackberries. I guess you could make it into either one. Uh, again, no markings. Um, this one is strawberries, as you can see, love that. And then she sent me this really big basket. I love this because I just purchased um, a couple of different uh, cling mounted stamps, um, but this is bigger than the ones that I purchased. So this is a really nice size for a good card front. And again, no markings for those. So thank you so much, Chris, for thinking of me and for sending these to me. I appreciate that. Um, let me share with you a haul that I got. I went out looking for something. You guys are some good, good enablers on here on YouTube. This is the um, website that I purchased from. And they had something that I went looking for. Um that Jill had shown, Jill Norwood. She had shared this um, really tiny um, embossing folder from Jen Long. This is an old retired one. Um, and this company happened to have it in stock. So I purchased it. Um, this is not a 3D one. It's called Lovely Flowers. And there's the, the number on it. Um, but if you look it up, it's retired, um, from Sizzix, so you, you can't purchase it from them, but you can definitely see if you can find it elsewhere. So that's where I got it from. But then I went looking in their inventory <laughs> and they have quite a few memory box, um, dies and they have some really tiny ones. I didn't even know memory boxes did. Well, I did know that because I have some that are really small. So here's some teeny tiny, um, dies really teeny tiny. So there's an ornament. You can see it, right? And you can see it next to my thumbnail. So it's even smaller than that. It's probably about the size of my pinky nail. Uh, and <laughs> you guys might be looking at my nails. They look purple, um, maybe pink, but they're actually purple again, because, um, my hair color is transferring to my fingernails right now, since I just had it done last week. So we went with purple. Um, if there's anything with COVID, I've been able to, um, <clears throat> go with a little bit more, uh, fun colors for the hair. Um, this is a sled or sleigh. Sorry. It's really, really tiny. 
Um, and these are poppy stamps ones, but you know, they're the same company. They're, well, sister company. There's a little stocking. There's a little angel. And you guys know I have the tiny gingerbread, right? Um, so I love these. And there's a little, I didn't know this was that small. This is a little snow globe. There's no way I could put anything inside really, but it's cute. So no shakers for that one. Then I got some that are slightly larger. This is a gingerbread girl and boy. Um, and, and you guys, oh, oftentimes what they do is actually show the actual size if they can on their packaging. So this is likely the size of the actual die. Um, I was looking to see if there's any difference here. So there we go. And then I got some stitching dies. Um, and some of them are, are ones that are already in my collection. So I like to have two to cut faster. Um, cause oftentimes you have to cut two at a time, one for the back and one for the front. So here is plush mountain snowflake. And again, a lot of times the actual size of the image is the actual size of the die. I didn't have this one yet, Plush Songbird. This one is Plush Maple Leaf. This one is Plush Baby Bumble. And I actually got two sizes. I got the big one and the baby one. Um, and you can kind of see here, here are the die pieces. Um, this is the big one and this one is the baby one. So with the big one, you get a few more extra pieces cause there's a little more, you can, a little more detail you can actually put into a larger size die cause it is a little harder to sew it when you're, when they're small. Does it really have the face in there? Yeah, it seems to. Interesting. I can use my faces for my own die. <laughs> and then this guy, I already have him. Um, but again, like I said, I buy things sometimes to cut faster because you do have to cut two at a time. In this case, you know, it will help with the antlers and the back piece because you probably will cut... Um, you know, two layers of the back piece and um, maybe one of each of the other pieces, um, except for the antlers, because he's got two antlers. Um, let's see, the arm, does he have a left? He has a left and a right arm included, so um, th this will help just the cutting to go a little bit faster, because that's just me. I like to not waste my time if I can. So anyway, that is what I have in my haul. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.